So why did I become an adoption attorney? This is a question that I get a lot, you guys, because there are not a lot of attorneys that just do adoptions mainly. Most attorneys do family law and family law usually encompasses, you know, divorces, child support, child custody, and things of that nature. And actually very few family lawyers do adoptions. So a lot of people ask me sometimes like, why in the world do you just do adoptions? So my story starts with when I was a little girl and I always had a heart to help children who are not in families being brought into families. So my heart would always break when I would see kids on the street who didn't have anybody to take care of them uh, when I was really young. And so when I grew up, I thought about what ways that I could help children be secure in families and not be left to themselves or be abandoned. And so as I thought through my different options, law school seemed like a good idea. I mean, I didn't grow up always wanting to be a lawyer, but I just thought, well, I had tried CASA. CASA is a great organization and it's basically a child advocacy center um, where you can just volunteer and you can advocate for children in that way. So I had tried that for a few months, but what I realized when I went into the court and you know I was giving my report about you know the child that was assigned to me, my voice didn't really matter at the end of the day. The attorney's voices mattered in the courtroom. And so I decided, okay, I want my voice to matter. And when I speak up for my kiddos who are assigned to me, I want my voice to make a difference in court. And I want the judge to hear what I say and say, okay, because your attorney is saying this, I'm going to order X, Y, Z. So that's really kind of what prompted me to look into law school. So I went to law school with the idea and the purpose that I wanted to help foster children. And I really just wanted to help children. Like I said before, my uh, desire has always been to help children um, be off the streets and into a home. So when I got my law degree, it seemed like a good idea to work in juvenile court. And juvenile court is, as you guys probably know, it's when whenever a child gets put into the foster care system, the family now comes into the juvenile court system. And so the judge, you know, now presides over their case and makes decisions for that child until the case is over. And so I started out doing that and I loved it because I got to meet with people that I would have never met before if I wasn't working in the juvenile court system. Um, I got to meet a lot of kids and I got to meet their families and I got to really get a different perspective on life from uh, families and parents who were struggling to take care of their children and who did abuse and neglect their children um, because I got to represent some of them in court. So um, so anyway, I became a lawyer, like I said, because I wanted to help children and um, my practice kind of when I graduated from law school, I actually struggled with whether I wanted to be an attorney. And um, I had my first son when I was in law school. And so after I graduated law school, I actually stayed home with my kiddos for three years. I was a stay-at-home mom. And I was really wrestling with, do I really need a law degree? Maybe I should, I should just work for an adoption agency. I don't know if a law degree is really going to help me with what I want to do. Ultimately, I decided to take the bar exam and just go for it and see what I could do. And so that's what I did. So I took the bar exam and I decided that I did not want to work for a law firm because what I found out is that um, if I was working for a law firm, you know, that did family law, for example, I would have to take whatever cases they gave me. So I couldn't just say, I only want to take adoption cases or I only want to take juvenile court cases. I couldn't say that. You just get whatever you get and you have you don't throw a fit. <laughs> it's kind of how that works. And so I was actually blessed to be able to have the opportunity and the flexibility to open up my own law practice. So that's what I did. And um, at first it was hard because um, I didn't know how, how to own my own business. I was barely learning how to be an attorney. And so just kind of threw myself in there and just work for it. And I remember the very first adoption client that I had, I actually went to a chiropractor to get my back cracked or something. And the lady that was the secretary there, she was like, what do you do? And I said, actually, I am an adoption attorney. I had just opened my practice like a month before and I was telling everybody what I was doing so I could get work. 
And so she said, really? Well, you know, my husband is my kid's stepdad and, you know, I really want him to adopt uh, my kids. And I was like, I can help you with that. <laughs> and so I told her, this is my first case, but I promise I'll do a good job. So she trusted me. We got her, I got her adoption done and that was it. And so ever since then, I've been doing adoptions. So why did I actually just do adoptions? Um, when I was in law school, I had talked to my family law um, professor about adoptions. And this is what she told me. She said, there is no money in adoptions. Um, if you want to make money, you have to do divorces and child custody. That's where the money is at. And she said, adoptions are dying. Nobody's adopting anymore. And so her advice to me was, you shouldn't even think about doing an adoptions, just do family law. And in my, I remember thinking, wow, well, I know a lot of people who are interested in adopting and, um, I know a lot of people who have adopted, so how can it be dying? And so what I did was I did research and I found this attorney who has been doing adoptions for a long time. So I actually contacted her, met with her, and she gave me all the information about how to do adoptions. And um, she said, you know, if this is something that you want to do, go ahead and do it, learn how to do the law. And and I said, okay. So um, yeah, I had no support in law school. I mean, being an adoption lawyer is like it's rare. I mean, you just don't find a lot of attorneys that do that. So when I graduated law school and I decided to open my own law practice, not only was I going against the grain by opening up my own law practice right after passing the bar exam, but I was also going against the grain by only choosing to do adoptions. So I chose a difficult road for myself, which I'm okay with because this is what I wanted to do. And so I kept doing it. And what I started seeing was that I was helping families become secure. And so even though I wasn't, you know, out in, you know, a country in West Africa, uh, taking children off the streets and putting them in a home, I was still helping families in that way. It just wasn't as dramatic as literally rescuing children off the street. So a step parent adoption, for example, was helping that child feel secure in a home where he now had a mom and a dad that he could he could rely on he or she could rely on same thing with private newborn adoptions what i found was that i was helping families who had been dreaming of having children for so long for the first time be able to be a family and have a child that they could love and and raise and call their own and i started finding so much fulfillment in doing that that i thought I don't ever want to do family law. I just want to do adoptions. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of my story. So if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to let you kind of hear more about why I do what I do. Um, I'm very passionate about helping families and, um, you'll hear more about this later, but I am starting a nonprofit that is going to be helping orphanages all around the world and helping children actually get off the streets and, um, give them a place to stay and take care of them in that way. So there'll be more details on that coming soon, but I wanted to kind of put the bug in your ear, but that's why I became an adoption attorney. So I want to encourage you wherever you are in your life right now, that you find that thing that you know, God put me on this earth to solve this problem and go for that. Because I can tell you, I'm doing adoptions because I know that the problem that I'm here to solve is children being left on the streets and being abandoned. That's the problem that I'm here to solve. And so being an adoption attorney is part of me doing that, but there's so much more I want to do, but this is a little piece of how I can be who I was made to be. So I want to encourage you to do the same wherever you are in life right now, to not be afraid to take the difficult road like I did by opening up my own law firm um, with no business background and also by becoming an adoption lawyer <laughs> with really not any help and just figuring out along the way because it was burning so much in my heart to do. So I found a way and you can too. So I hope that was encouraging to you. And will you just leave a comment below? Let me know what you do that you love and how you got started. And I'd love to hear from you.